Hello and welcome. In this video you will gain valuable information about the setup and operation of the DE3 desktop engraver. Engraving with the character cutter. Now that our nose cone is set and properly installed onto the spindle, let's insert our character cutter tool into the top of the spindle and then set the depth. Place it in the spindle and turn counterclockwise until tight. Give it a good firm twist. Make sure it's in there snugly. Now grab your hex driver, insert and loosen the tool using our flat surface to flush it up with the bottom of the nose cone. Now let's adjust the tool depth. Spin counterclockwise until you hit 20 or 20 thousandths. Make sure that the lock lever is set to either 1 or 2 for your auto Z. On the control panel, make sure auto Z is set. For auto will indicate that it is turned on. Let's also make sure your spindle is turned on. The S indicates on. Now, let's go ahead and set up the table and prepare to engrave. I place an AS10 sheet on the table. I placed a wooden coaster on the far left bottom corner. I'm making sure that it is straight. Now, after activating our laser, we'll bring the spindle unit to the front. Take our laser to the far left and bottom. To set the base pointer X, Y, press origin, arrow to X and Y, and then hit enter. This will zero, zero out our base point. This is now your zero, zero, or base point. Now that our engraver is ready to engrave, let's go to Dr. Engrave Plus, where we can set up our file and send to the engraver. Here, I've placed an Illustrator file. I've added some fill to certain areas. Now I have control over multiple layers, single layers, and or shapes within that layer. Under Material Size, I've set it up as a 4x4, which represents the size of our coaster. I'm going to Engraver Settings to make sure the DE3 is active and ready. Here's my tool, and I have a multitude of different materials that I can choose from. If yours isn't on here, then just find something that's close. Under Advanced Settings, we can set up the X and Y speed and Z speed, the spindle speed, cutting in amount, and then tool up height. Now I have a choice. I can either save for utilizing for multiple projects, or just hit OK. Once OK, I'm ready to press the Engrave button. Now, Dr. Engrave Plus will send the file to the DE3 desktop engraver, which is set up and ready to engrave.
And there you have our final piece.